In the late 1980s and 1990s, Italian researchers led by Giacomo Rizzolatti performed experiments on macaque monkeys. They measured their brain activity under a variety of circumstances. They used electrodes on the brain and recorded the output voltages on electroencephalography or EEG. Rizzolatti could see the relative impact that stimuli had on different areas of the brain. We explain EEGs in our series on the brain and spirituality. In one set of experiments, researchers presented various tools and food items to the monkeys on a platter. When the monkeys reached out to grasp objects or eat foods, they recorded an expected spike in the brain areas associated with hand and mouth movements. This area is called F5. However, something astonishing happened. Other monkeys had the same areas of their brains spike by merely observing the test monkeys and the researchers' reactions. Their brains were replicating the same activities without actually being physically involved. They repeated the experiment, hiding the object behind a wall and having another visible monkey pick up the item which was still hidden from them. In the same brain area, F5 again lit up. This response implied that the intention to act and not the action itself was sufficient to cause the brain response. This observation is a model that is currently looking at why a dominant person can incite a mob. Similarly, why another dominant person can pacify and create calm. The ability to imitate this response earns those neurons the name mirror neurons. A mirror neuron is a neuron that mimics the behavior of another as if the observer were itself acting. In the years following Rizzolatti's experiments, further evidence of mirror neurons in other animals and humans have been discovered. The first work in humans, led by Fadija in 1995, presented results consistent with mirror neurons' existence in humans. Their experiments measured the strength and time it takes for the brain to respond to different sensory stimulations. They observed that motor neurons had higher amplitudes during observations of another person grasping objects than when the same items were left alone. Other research has found that the human brain's comparative area to the macaque's F5 corresponds to Broca's region in the human brain. This discovery has led some to speculate that the mirror neurons also affect how human beings communicate with one another since the Broca's region is associated with hand movement and speech production. Mirroring behavior in speech has already been demonstrated in animal studies. For example, in songbirds. 
the comparative area of the F5 in their brains is the HVC area. In studies of songbirds with damaged HVC areas, they had lower success in mirroring and recognizing new songs from other birds than birds with entire HVC areas. The anticipation in songbirds applied to the study of human music. The notions of tension and release in music rely on listeners' expectations that musical chords progress in a particular way. Researchers in music have noted that this anticipation creates a kind of shared knowledge in music bands, especially in improvisational jazz groups where the expectation of what others will do is so accurate that players can seamlessly continue musical phrases started by others. Researchers in organizational behavior can compare effective teams working together in companies to jazz musicians in sync. Because the mirror neuron system allows individuals to experience the reactions of others to stimuli, it has also been proposed as the part which controls the empathy response. Empathy is the ability to feel what another person is feeling and is crucial to having shared experiences with other people. Empathy is different from sympathy. Sympathy is the understanding of someone else's suffering. Empathy is connecting and feeling someone's emotions, whether it be rage, passion, calm, or sincerity. American psychologists Kaplan and Locoboni made the connection between the mirroring system and empathy. They said that when we initiate an action, we also trigger our motivations and intentions associated with that action. They go further to say that not only do we understand what the goals of another person are, but when we watch them behave, we experience their intention and therefore their emotion. As of 2020, the research into mirror neurons and how they allow human beings to communicate with each other is still only a few years old. However, the research presented shows that it is plausible that mirror neurons play a large part in allowing others to feel what we are feeling. Mirror neurons connect people with each other. It is a communication system of which we are not consciously aware. It also telegraphs motivations, intentions, and emotions about an issue. This can result in triggering others to react similarly. In the next episode, we will shift from the neurological to the psychological characteristics of people and how combined can create destruction or healing in a group.